Today, Monday, Thursday, we start the sacred Triduum, the holy three days, the most significant days in the life of the Church, because these are the days when we each enter more deeply into the reality of Jesus' passion, death and resurrection. Today has a, has a solemn but gentle feel about it as we gather together and reenact the Last Supper. Today's liturgy has three important realities about it and they illustrate for us something of Jesus's own proclamation about himself when before he ascended to his father he said to his disciples I will be with you always. In tonight's liturgy, the solemn liturgy of the Last Supper of the Lord, we remember that truth, the Lord is with us always. We remember this firstly through the reenactment of the mandatum, the washing of the disciples' feet. Interestingly enough, we don't hear the gospel of the Eucharist tonight, but we hear this wonderful gospel from John chapter 13, where Jesus illustrates to his followers what real service is all about. It's a reminder to us that we encounter Jesus Christ in those who are least, those who are suffering, who are in need, those who look to us to help them. We discover Jesus in the mystery of the other person and it's an invitation to us tonight to kneel down and wash their feet. The second way in which we're reminded of the presence of Jesus is, is that it was at the Last Supper that Jesus in instituted the sacrament of holy orders. When he commended his apostles and he invited them to take bread and say, this is my body, and to take the chalice of wine and say, this is my blood. It's a wonderful reminder to us of the presence of Jesus in the person of the priest. So please, this evening, pray for your priests. Pray for the priests of your parish and pray for the priests of our diocese. I ask you too to pray for me. And thirdly, the third way in which we're reminded tonight that Jesus is always with us is, of course, his presence par excellence, the Church says, in the mystery of the Eucharist itself. We call this presence real. It's a reminder to us that Jesus is fully present to us in the Holy Eucharist, in an old saying, body, blood, soul and divinity. And of course, tonight's liturgy doesn't end with a go forth in peace, but it ends with the procession to the altar of the repose, where we spend some time before our Eucharistic Lord as he enters into the mystery of Gethsemane. Let us each walk with him too to that holy place. And please let us all remember it is true that the Lord not only says to us, I am with you always, but he makes himself fully present to us.